Okay, welcome back. So Adrian Smoot did a challenge. We are at 110 cold calls of his 250 challenge. So we've got to get busy. I'm going to spend a little bit of time in here between meetings and such um, to jump on Google, my Google Voice, as you know. I've got my manual cold call list. And I'm just going to jump in and make some dials really quick and see if we can't pull some leads. So um, we're working on an open house after his presentation with Joplin Rhea. On the presentation 7-2 and then the uh, walkthrough will be scheduled for 7-3 in the morning. So I'm working to get a, uh, a unit locked in for that. Um, so working hard on that right now. So I'm going to jump on the phones and just see if we can find something here. Try to bust through uh, another page of calls. I um, want to thank you for joining me. I know that these things are, uh, it's interesting when you get on the phones. You never know what you're going to find. So manual sheets. Manual calls, you know, we have a CRM, we have dialers now, but I like to go manual on stuff like this. So I want to show you just the manual grunt labor, right, of securing leads and closing deals, because this is a lot of times how we do it. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Voicemail again. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, it's Chris. Give me a call back. 417-295-7262. 417-295-7262. Thank you. Call number two, we are calling the last name of the Trump. We like it. Last name of Trump. Hey, this is Chris. Can you give me a quick call back? 417 295 7262. Thank you. So I just stopped the phone with a realtor on six units. They are not local to uh, Joplin. So that was kind of a problem. I'm going to sell one of those and want you to have an offer down before you walk through, which makes sense. Um, so that might not work for the Adrian thing because we'd have to have him locked in the con contract and all the things. This phone line's busy. So that might be a little hard to do. Uh, short time Adrian's in town and trying to lock up a contract to do a walkthrough and all the things. Even though six units by lake, it might be a little tough. So. This is Chris. Uh, can you give me a quick call back? 417 295 7262. 417-295-7262. Thank you. Call number five. So we are Welcome to time. US Cellular Voicemail four one seven four three eight five seven three eight is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. After you have finished your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, please press one. This is Chris, give me a call back. Four one seven two nine five seven two six two. Thank you. Number six. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four one 
so I click force nine. This is Chris. Uh, give me a call back. 417-295-7262. Thank you. Bye. So on this video, you guys are seeing me fail a lot on cold calls. Um, but if you go back to Sunday, <clears throat> I had a lead with 100. If you remember that, um, still working that lead. Um, I've got prices on those properties and like 15 of those properties. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Um, and then trying to work on all 100 of those because that's the way you really want to do that is like look at the, the whole scale of or the whole scope of the properties so like even if i come up blank on the other 249 calls it really doesn't matter if you can pull a really good lead like that like i can spend eight hours on calls for a lead of 100 so you got to keep that in mind when you're calling like it only takes one call Hey, Louie, Chris, uh, give me a call back, please. 417-295-7262. If you could do that before three, that would be awesome. Thanks, Louie. Bye. So we never use our last name. Why? Because we want them to feel like they know us. So we want to make, uh, in real estate, you want to make people feel like that they're your friends as fast as you can. Um, bring them in, make them feel like that you guys have been friends for a long time. It really helps with negotiating. Please leave your message for four one seven four three seven three three zero eight. Hey, it's Chris. Give me a call back. Uh, 417-295-7262. Thanks. We did not complete your call. Please try again. Oh, this is Chris. Um, had a quick question for you. Do you have property there in Joplin, Missouri you'd like to sell? No. Okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you. Those are awesome. Hello, this is Chris. Um, quick question for you. Do you have property there on Dutch Elm and Joplin you'd like to sell? Hold on just a second. I can't hear you. Let me step outside. Hello, this is Chris. What did you say? I'm so um, sorry. Yeah, that's cr it's crazy in there. Um, do you have any property, uh, any property in Joplin that you're looking to sell? No, no, I don't. You don't? Okay. Okay. Who is this? My name is Chris. Yep. Um, anyway, well, hey, thank you for your time. Okay, thanks. Uh, bye.
we just got a call back on one of the numbers. This is Chris. Can you give me a call back? Uh, 417-295-7262. Thanks. Bye. And another call back. Voicemails are coming in. Hello, this is Chris. I uh, had a quick question for you. Um, do you have pro property there in Joplin you'd like to sell? Okay. Well, thank you. Bye for now. I think they should have pulled this into a vacant list so they're more motivated. Got ourselves in a mess right now. The best way to get out of a mess is to go right through it. Or sometimes stop. I don't know. Trying to push before my two o'clock meeting. Fourteen minutes left. Ten dials. Okay. Voicemails keep rolling in. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, this is Chris. Uh, quick question for you. Do you have property there in Joplin you're looking to sell? Do what? Do you have property there in Joplin that you're looking to sell? Who is this? My name's Chris Forsyth. Who are you trying to get a hold of? Well, it shows to be a Todd. Are you a Todd? Yeah, I'm looking at like Black Hat Road area. It's what this list had. Uh, can you text me your information and I'll get my wife tonight? Absolutely. I'm kind of occupied right now, but you can text me on this number and I'll get with her tonight and leave me your info and all that stuff. Okay, can do. Thank you, Todd. All right. All right, on. see ya. Bye. Message for 417-438-5168. Hey, 
Hey, this is Chris. Can you give me a call back? 417-295-7262. Thanks. Hey, Teresa, it's Chris, uh, 417-295-7262. Look forward to the call back. Thanks. Bye. Last call on the sheet. Run a tally on the calls. This is Chris. Can you give me a quick call back? 417-295-7262. Thanks. Okay, let's see where we're at. Twenty-two calls in about twenty minutes. We got one text back with a lead. Um, and I've got about two or three voicemails. Let's look at this here. We got one callback. And we got one that says, um, I don't even know who I'm talking to in Joplin. And I could just call and I just give him a call back, but I need to get a hold of me. You need to text this number. Okay. Easy enough. So two callbacks, one text, one lead. 20, what did I say, 22 calls? Not too bad, 20 minutes. All right, it's all about taking action. Um, just like get on the phone and dial. So um, thanks for watching.